What's up guys, this is yeah Boy. How often have you turned around an island and suddenly there's a destroyer about to torpedo you? What do you do? This destroyer is about two kilometers away before he launches his torpedoes. This guide is going to teach you exactly how to bait and dodge torpedoes like a boss. But even better, this guide will teach you how to survive in a battleship even when there are six tier 10 destroyers on the enemy team. I'm going to walk you through this match without speeding it up, that way you know exactly when to anticipate an army of torpedoes that are about to head your way. You need to know what this looks and feels like so that you can start baiting and dodging walls of torpedoes before they are detected. So check this out, that Shimakaze is turning, so I'm going to start reversing. Usually when Shimakaze start turning, that means they're going to launch their torpedoes, so you need to start preparing to dodge them. I'm reversing and turning to the right. Now here comes another Shimakaze. He's showing his broadside, which tells me that he's ready to fire those torpedoes. Now he's sailing away, which means he just fired them. So once this first wall of torpedoes safely passes me, I'm gonna start moving forward again and turning to the right to become parallel with that other Shimakaze's torpedo path. This allows me to mitigate as much damage as possible. You have to prepare for this ahead of time. Notice that all of these movements are happening before I see the torpedoes. So I just dodged 28 of 30 torpedoes. It's my goal that you guys be able to do this too, but make sure to watch this whole video so that your mind makes connections between what to do and when to do it. There are so many different ways that torpedoes can be headed your direction, so you need to know which technique to use in each situation. Now normally I wouldn't be charging forward like this, but this is where the Des Moines is, and it's my job as a battleship to target cruisers. Since this is the only cruiser in the battle, this is where I need to be. Now notice that I'm keeping an eye on my surroundings because I know that I'm being hunted. There's a Shimakaze on my right. Now there's a Shimakaze straight ahead, I'm going to start reversing and turning to the right to dodge the torpedoes that I'm anticipating. You don't have to see them to know that they're coming. Now I'm actually going to pause the video right here because I want this screenshot to be the teaser for my next upload. My next upload is going to be this entire match. I survived these torpedoes and three times after this, enemy destroyers tried to take me out and they could not do it. I want you guys to see the whole thing. I'm saving that juicy section for the entire match when I upload it. It's going to be exclusive to my next upload. For now, we're going to go into 13 more Yamato clips and then a three minute preview of another video I'm gonna make in the future at the very end. So what we have here is a Shimikaze. You notice how he turned broadside and I'm the only battleship on my team so I knew those torpedoes were coming my way. Luckily that Fletcher spotted them for me, but even if he had not spotted them, they wouldn't have hit. All you have to do is turn to the right and keep on sailing, didn't have to slow down. You'll get this fantastic view. Look at that, it's beautiful. That is a work of art right there. And you will see that if you know when to turn in which direction. Now check this out, this is the beginning of a match. I'm gonna to just fire at this battleship. I'm just getting close and you know, trying to figure out where the whole enemy team is. There's one enemy destroyer, I don't know where he's at, but it looks like I'm in a pretty safe spot, right? I got a friendly battleship behind me. Look around, do you see, you know, you would think that the destroyer might go around the edges of the map. There he is, right in the middle, the one destroyer. I immediately slowed down and turned to the right to start dodging them. He showed broadside, which meant he was firing those torpedoes. They were definitely at me. And look at them go. Yeah, buddy. Not today, son. Not today. Beautiful. Now for this map, I love using this island right in front of me as protection from destroyers. If you're in a battleship, I recommend putting your main guns on the left side of your ship, pull behind this island, you can use it for protection, and you can use this area of the map to bait torpedoes. Really you can bait anywhere you want, but I really like this section of the map to bait torpedoes, especially at the beginning. There's four destroyers on the enemy team, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull into the zone, make sure that I'm capping, so I'm going to be in the zone. Once I'm about even with the edge of the island, I'm throwing it into reverse. Look, there's a gearing. He's going to fall for this. A lot of times destroyers do because it looks so good. It looks like such a good shot. 
battleships wide open. They need to get that damage started. Give their team an edge. He's like, I'm gonna be the hero. I don't think so, son, not today. Voy a seguir retrocendiendo hasta que velva a estar detrás de la isla en caso de que vengan más torpedos. Luego me arreri preparar mi proxima trampa. Patatas fritas y salsa. Detrás de la isla, mi amigo. Patatas fritas y salsa. Sago del área para destruir este ecorizado antes de que desaparezca. Luego vuelvo para defender el área. Mira, un destructor. No te preocupes, amigo. Si vos los torpedos garando en la square de ahí dándole un camino perfecto, luego giri hacia el destructor. Mira este clip de nuevo y presta atención a cómo establezco mis cibos y queries usar esta técnica. Mira, un destructor. No te preocupes, amigo. Solo votete hacia el para escuavar sus torpedos. Ya, <laughs> ya, ya. Espera. Espera, espera. Oh no. Yeah, as you can see, my techniques don't always work out, but most of the time they do. Now what we're going to have here is a shimikaze that shows up on the right hand side of the screen. He's not detected yet, so I don't know that he's there. I'm firing at this battleship. I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit. Look at the mini map. There's a shimikaze, and I still haven't seen him yet. I'm going to look to the right. Now I see him on the mini map. I'm going to look to the right. There he is. I'm going to change my path. I'm going to turn to the right so that because of the, the way that his torpedoes would have been angled at my ship, me turning to the right was the best option. And that avoided the bulk of his torpedoes. That's what kept me alive. That's how you survive in a shimikaze that yellows your group. And check out this shimikaze. He's kind of far away, so it's pretty easy to dodge these torpedoes. I wasn't actually expecting him to already have sent them, but luckily I'm already prepared to dodge them. I'm just going to turn to the left. Sometimes you need to turn left instead of right, and that's the situation where you might want to do that. Actually, where you do want to do that in that situation. Now pay attention to this island right here. That little island, see the smoke that just popped up? That means there's a destroyer that is vulnerable because he popped his smoke. That means he made himself vulnerable, which means there's probably torpedoes coming my way. Now, I don't know if he's targeting me or the Minotaur in front of me. My fleetmate, actually. Ex-fleetmate, actually. <laughs> but... Either way, I would have got hit by those torpedoes had I not slowed down. Now here's a Shimakazi. He's turning because he's preparing to launch those torpedoes. Anytime a destroyer is turning and making their broadside vulnerable, they're launching those torpedoes. So I'm turning to the right. I'm just going to keep turning to the right. I sped up the video right here because it's so long. And here's another situation where the same thing happens. Now notice, it may have been better to turn left here, but I didn't turn left. It may have appeared better, but it wasn't. It's not a better option to turn left here. Because look at the minimap where all the enemies are, the enemy team. If you turn left instead of right right here, you're going to make yourself incredibly vulnerable to the whole enemy team. You don't want that. So actually, turn right, which usually wouldn't be optimal in this situation, but it was, it was because of the enemy team location. Turning left into the torpedoes rather than right. Mitigate that damage whenever you can. Here's a Shimakazi that's basically yellowing me. Sends those torpedoes. Just slow down and turn left. Now here's a Fletcher. Watch my angling. He's gonna sneak around the island. Watch the way I angle my ship. I'm turning left. I know he's gonna be headed my way, so I wanna make my ship parallel with his ship. That makes it really easy for you to dodge their torpedoes because you get to see them and you have more time to dodge them when you're moving the same direction as the torpedoes. Yeah, buddy. Check it out. When he starts turning, that means he's firing those torpedoes. You can start preparing to turn left. I'm turning left because I know he's turning. He's about to fire them. 
Here they come. There you go. It's that easy. All right, that was the end of my Yamato clips, and now I'm gonna show you guys how to dodge torpedoes and a few other ships. What you're seeing from here on out is just a preview of the type of stuff you're gonna see in my next torpedo guide that's coming after this. It's not gonna be my next upload, but it is gonna be my next torpedo guide. So I was AFK right here, I was texting. When I came back, I was like, whoa, what happened? I just came back from texting. I see that I'm getting fired at. There's a Yugamo right in my face. Super, super sorry team. My mistake, my mistake. Okay, now, how do you recover from this? What do you do? There's a Yugamo about to YOLO you. What do you do? Put your ship in reverse and become parallel with the path of the torpedoes. This is exactly what I taught in one of my previous videos titled How to Dodge Torps Like a Champ. This is the exact technique I taught in the past, and guys, it works beautifully. A whole bunch of y'all have responded to me saying that y'all use this technique and it works very well for you guys. That makes me so happy when I hear that. Here's an Admiral Hipper, and I'm already in reverse because I'm preparing to dodge his torpedoes. They haven't came yet. This Sims comes from around the corner. I wasn't expecting the Sims. So what do you do? Exactly like the last clip. Become parallel with the path of their torpedoes. I actually overturn a little bit, and I do get hit by one of the torpedoes in the first set, and one of the torpedoes in the second set, but I still dodge six of the eight of them. That's awesome. You guys can do this too. Just put this technique into practice. And check out, that Admiral Hipper, all of his torpedoes missed. There's a great technique. Not the Sims. Not the Sims technique, my technique. <laughs> now check this out. There's a Kagero on the right, I just spotted him. I need to sink this guy and then bait the Kagero. Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm gonna start turning, I sped it up a little bit right here. I'm gonna show him my tail. And watch, now I'm going forward, but I'm still turning, showing him my tail, but I'm but I'm still moving forward. So he thinks that he has a really good shot. I was like, look, you got a really good shot, take it. And he missed. That is the bait and switch, baby. All right, in this clip, this is going to be a technique that you're rarely gonna be able to use. I'm double baiting this guy. I'm weaving left, right, left, right. I'm not actually gonna keep going either direction. That makes him send two sets of torpedoes both in the wrong direction, and I'm weaving right in between the middle of them. You're not gonna be able to use this technique very much, but I have been able to use it multiple times in the past, and it's awesome when you get to use it. All right, this is the last clip that I have for you guys for this particular video. There was not a Sims on the left just a second ago, but then I'm gonna, I'm gonna look to the left. There he is, he just popped up. I'm gonna start dodging those torpedoes that I'm expecting to come my way. Just start turning to the left, and it's that simple. They don't even have to slow down right here. All right guys, let me know in the comment section how you like this video. Catch you guys next time.